How do I get screen recordings from the DJI RC2 onto the computer? I can't be the only one that has been going close to insane trying to figure that one out. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the capabilities to record everything that goes on onto the screen. The way that you activate that is that you pull down this curtain and then you press this record button and then it will basically record everything that's going on on the screen, which is a very useful feature when you're out flying and especially when you're doing YouTube tutorials like I'm doing on a regular basis. It's very nice to show you what's going on when I'm out in the field. So I just press stop here. Now we have a little test recording that I can show you very easily how to transfer. I was a bit surprised when I got the DJI RC2 that I was having issues uh, getting uh, the screen recordings offloaded. With the old DJI RC, this was, this was a quite simple process. You could basically just, if you had mounted an SD card under the flap here, you could basically just plug in a USB-C cable and then plug it into the computer and then use a third-party software like the Android File Transfer Tool to sort of drag and drop the files onto your desktop and then import it into your software. That was pretty easy. But with the DJI RC2, it was not the same. When you plugged in the same cable and tried to repeat the process, the Android transfer tool did not work. And I had to wait a really, really long time for the controller to show up inside Final Cut for me to offload whatever was stored here. So something changed between the two versions of the controllers. So next I thought, okay, so then I will just plug in a SD card. And so far so good, it will pop up with a message saying remote controller SD card inserted. You may go to profile settings storage to switch to this storage location. So let's just try to do that. Storage, SD card, switch. So everything seems to be working okay. The only problem is that the screen recordings are still being stored on the internal memory of the controller. So we need to use a different approach. Again, pull down the menu here, press this little uh, gear icon to get into the settings of the controller. And here you have a storage option. And you can see right now we have a 16.69 gigabyte used of the 32 gigabyte of internal storage. And then if we press internal shared storage, we need to press on the music and audio, which is kind of odd because it shows zero gigabyte. And then we need to press the audio files and that will sort of quick jump us into a browser that will allow us to navigate the controller. So if we press the burger menu here, we can simply say videos. And here we have a folder that's called movies. If we press that, you can see the screen recordings that's being currently stored on the controller. And we had a test recording here of a 559 kilobytes. And I, yeah, I can just, yeah, open it. So you can basically replay it on the controller in case that you want to make sure that this is the right one. And then you can long press it. So it turns blue or with this uh, blue check mark. And then you have some options uh, available if you press the three dots in the upper right corner. There is basically two relevant things that you need to pay attention to. There's a copy option and there's a move to option. And I normally don't use the move function because I like there's an extra additional copy here on the controller in case something goes wrong in the transfer process. So if we just say copy to, and then we press the burger menu again, and then we select Android, which is basically the SD card that we just popped into the controller. We press copy. So now the item will be copied onto the SD card. We can just check that this is actually what happened. If we go down here to the base and select Android again, you can see that the screen recording 559 kilobytes is now stored on the SD card. And that means now I can pop out the SD card from the controller and I can basically put it into the computer and then I can offload the screen recording. That's very simple and very straightforward. You might be wondering why I have a microphone attached to the controller and that's because that's an easy way to get audio onto the screen recordings and that will make it a lot easier for me to do the synchronization of whatever is going on in the screen with me talking to the camera afterwards. 
Do you have any other issues that you're struggling with with these drones? Then let me know in the comments below. Then I can do a follow-up video, maybe proposing a solution for the problem that you are dealing with. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.